Hey guys, Flash and Baron here with an in-depth guide on how to speed run to 1 million silver from a new character. Before we start the speed run, I want to tell you guys about a massive giveaway that I'm doing. I'm giving away four very valuable prizes. First prize is 8.4 death givers. Second prize is 1 month of premium in Albion. Third is the Arcanist skin bundle valued at $30. And lastly, fourth is the Mist Stalker skin and the Mist Bison skin. To enter this giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe, and comment your in-game name and what server you are on. You can also earn additional entries by clicking the giveaway link in the description and pinned comment. I will be picking four lucky winners on May 15th, and I will announce them on my Discord. Good luck, everyone. We will be doing this fairly safely. However, there will be some risk of getting ganked. You just have to be careful and follow what I say, and you should be fine. The goal is to make 1 million silver in under three hours. It is a little bit more difficult nowadays to do this than it was in the past. However, it is still possible to make it in only a few hours. So the first thing you need to do, of course, is to smash that like button and subscribe. Well, howdy there, fella. Make sure you don't subscribe to the channel. No, 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 no. But for real, you do need to have a good name. For this run, I'm going to choose the name Speedy Silver because, of course, we need to make our silver really, really fast. Make sure you check Play Tutorial, and let's get in to the run. Also, if you're interested in seeing me live, there's a link to my Twitch channel in the description. Come check it out and follow me if you have any questions. I'll also be happy to answer them, and I usually play PvP content in the Mist or Corrupted Dungeons, but I'm considering doing speedruns live on stream. So these are the timed speedrun steps that I came up with to get to the one mil the fastest. I have mapped out a plan to get there. First step is to go through the tutorial. There are a few important things you need to do in the tutorial. The first thing, after you get the map for Captain Tia, you should continue to kill heretic mobs until you get at least 230 silver. You will need this in the next step. Now return to Captain Tia, and she will tell you to equip some tier 2 gear. Go to the market and buy the following items. Broadsword, shield, scholar cowl, mercenary jacket, and soldier boots. This is important so that you level up all three types of armor, and you can unlock tier three later. The next thing you want to do is buy two mules. This will make you move slightly slower because you'll be overweight, but it is very worth it. After that, just complete the tutorial. It will ask you what starting location you want. They are all basically the same, but I always choose Forest Cross. In the starting area, there are a few quests that you want to do. First, speak to the soldier with a question mark above his head. Go to the commander next to get your three days of premium and start the Welcome to Albion questline. Bank your two meals in the town bank to move faster, but don't forget to grab them later. Next, do the Who is this quest. You will earn one gold from this quest. Sell the gold for silver. Go back to Roland and start the Combat the Basics quest. Click on the blue portal and do the expedition. You can clear the whole expedition if you want, but I'm just going to kill the mobs it tells me to. Once you kill the final boss, use the portal to return to town. Go back to Roland to turn in the quest and accept his next one. We'll be doing this quest a bit later. Next, use your learning points and level everything you can to tier three. These should be leather armor fighter, warrior, plate fighter, and cloth armor fighter. This is the reason we bought one of each armor type during the tutorial. Now go pick up your mules and head to the nearest city. That should be Limhurst if you chose Forest Cross as your starting point. You can now open your sigil bag that you got from the expedition. I got a little lucky in mine and I got a tier five sigil, but a tier four sigil will still be fine. Once in town, go to the repair bench. It looks like this and choose repair all. You can't sell items if they are damaged. Now go to the market, which looks like this on the map and sell everything except for one mule. You can use sell orders to get a little bit more silver, 
But since this is a speed run, and I'm going to quick sell it all. Now that everything is gone and we are naked, it's time to buy some gear. We will be buying two sets of gear. For the first set, you want tier three of the following items. Battle Axe, Shield, Scholar Cowl, Mercenary Jacket, Soldier Boots, and a tier two Cape. Equip everything you just bought, and this should spawn a tier three dungeon map in your inventory. Now for the second set. Change the tier to tier four and the enchantment to one and buy a great axe. Then change the quality to outstanding and buy a scholar cowl, a stalker jacket, soldier boots, and a cape. Also use the tier two tome you got earlier. Now you are geared up and ready for the solo dungeon. Leave the market and use the dungeon map that is in your inventory. It will show you where to go for the dungeon. Head to where it shows and click on the dungeon to enter. Start clearing the dungeon. There will be shrines that look like this that give buffs and chests that can look like this with loot in them. You should get to tier four learning points after a few minutes. And when you do, it will look like this. Go into the destiny board and use the learning points to level up everything you have to tier four. Now equip your tier 4.1 gear and select the abilities that are on the screen. Congratulations. Not even an hour into the game and you are already in a full 4.1 set. This can take a brand new player over a week to achieve. Continue clearing the dungeon and loot the chest at the end. You also most likely earned your daily tier four tome. Go ahead and use it now. If you can't find the daily tome, look here where there's a keyhole on the right side of the screen. Press A to quickly teleport out of the dungeon and return to town. Once in town, repair all of your gear and sell all of the tier three stuff. If you have at least 8,000 silver, you can sell your mule as well and buy a tier three riding horse. Make sure you buy a riding horse, not just a horse. However, if you didn't make enough silver, don't worry. You can either do another solo dungeon to make up for the rest of the silver, or you can use the mule that you already have. You are going to be a little bit slower though. With your remaining silver, if you have any, Buy a fish. Any fish will do, but I'm going to buy a tier five fish. Our next goal is to earn 50,000 silver to upgrade our gear. For this, I will be doing solo dungeons. Now this next part is what Albion Online is all about. Risk versus reward. So you have a choice to make for this next step. You can either go into the blue and yellow zones and be 100% safe, but you'll earn less silver, or you can go into the full loot PVP black zone and risk everything you have to earn more silver and more fame. It's completely up to you. Just know that gankers don't care that you're a noob or that you have almost nothing on you. And most of the time, they will bring 10 or more players to kill you. That being said, I recommend brand new players use the blue zone for this next step. But speedrunners and veterans use the black zone. I will be heading into the black zone since this is a speed run. To get to the black zone, enter the portal that looks like this. It may be a different color depending on which city you're in. Once inside, you will be in a miniature city. This city, however, has eight exits instead of just four, and they all lead to the black zone. Use this blue pool to make yourself invisible for two minutes, but know that interacting with anything will break the invisibility and leave you open to attack. Look around for a solo dungeon, and once you find one, enter the dungeon. Clear all the mobs in that dungeon. With just a little bit of luck, you should get to the 50K in loot in just about one to three dungeons. If it takes you any more than that, you may be cursed. Anyway, head back to town, and once you get there, repair and sell all of your loot. It is time for Corrupted Dungeons. First, we need a few upgrades. You need a minimum of 900 IP to enter Stalker level Corrupted. In full 4.1 outstanding, you should be around 850 IP. So we just need a couple of upgrades to hit that 900 mark. To get to 900, 
we are going to be enchanting our gear, which basically means leveling it up from 4.1 to 4.2. To do this, use runes and souls. Depending on the type of item and how many souls you will need, I made a chart showing you how many. It is on screen now. It is sometimes cheaper to buy the item with silver instead of buying the runes or souls, so make sure to check. In this case, the Great Axe was much cheaper to buy the 4.2 than to get the souls. But for everything else, enchanting was the best option. If you can't afford the full 4.2, prioritize the weapon and the chest first as they give the most benefit. Make sure you are at 900 IP and let's go to the next step. Okay, now that we are geared up, we need to find a corrupted dungeon. Stalker corrupted dungeons can only be accessed through red and black zones. If you want to practice first, you can do hunter level in yellow zones. They are non-lethal, but provide less fame and less loot. We will be doing stalker level CDs from the black zone. So grab some invis and look for a dungeon. They look like this. Once inside, do not click on this shrine. This shrine will allow you to invade other players' dungeons, kind of like Dark Souls. A corrupted dungeon is sort of like a solo dungeon, except for three main things. One, you have a mini-map. You can see where all the mobs are, including bosses who are guarding a chest full of loot. The bosses are these solo dots, and there are three per map. I recommend doing all three bosses in each dungeon. If you are struggling to kill bosses, Go kill regular mobs to level up your Reaver. Reaver is very important for PvE and makes bosses so much easier. 2. You need Infamy to complete the dungeon. You earn Infamy by killing mobs. How much depends on the type of mob. Once you get to 500 Infamy, the final boss will spawn. You can see your Infamy here on the right side of the screen. And 3rd. You can be invaded by other players. But don't worry. SBI made it very easy to kick the invader out of your dungeon. When you get invaded, your screen will turn red and a message will appear. You sense an evil presence. When this happens, don't panic. Kill or leash whatever you're fighting and look at your mini map for these five crystals. The five crystals spawn, but you only need to break three of them to kick out the invader. Start heading to the closest crystal and if you see a red name, of the invader, turn and go away from them. You have a lot of mobility with this build. Your W, E, and F all give movement speed. So keep avoiding the enemy until you can break three crystals. Once you finish a corrupted dungeon by killing the final boss and looting the final chest, a portal will appear. You now have the option to go to the next dungeon or to the surface. I recommend just keep doing next dungeon until you are almost overweight or you get some juicy loot that you want to bank. Once you are ready to head back, just click surface after the boss. You will be back to where you entered the dungeon, so be careful to avoid any gankers. You can also use the journey back feature by pressing R when you are mounted, which will teleport you back to town for a fee. Once you are back in town, just sell or bank all of your loot and rinse and repeat. This is one of the best money makers for new players, and you also get good fame from killing all of the mobs. Depending on your RNG, this shouldn't take more than 10 to 15 corrupted dungeons, and you will have over 1 million silver in cash and items. I've been blessed a few times and gotten 8.2 and 8.3 items in these chests, so you could be a millionaire from your very first chest. So let's go over what we accomplished. In 2 hours and 40 minutes, we managed to get over 1.25 million silver in cash and items. We also earned over 300,000 fame to level up our character. And this is starting from a brand new, fresh character. Over 300,000 total fame, 1.25 million net worth, and we even got up to level 19 in axes and 10 spec on our great axe. If you really grind hard and get a bit lucky with drops, you might even be able to buy a month of premium before your three days is up. But you could also come by my stream at twitch.tv slash flaccidbaron 
I do premium giveaways every single day. And there are also Twitch drops you can earn for free just by watching my stream. Let's go! So come say hi and use the secret code word titties and beer so I know you came from this video. That's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching zero to one million silver in under three hours. If you learned something, please like the video. It really helps out. If you're new to the game or new to the channel, please subscribe. I will be posting more guides soon, including the top five beginner weapons. So thanks again for watching. Stay soft and I will see you in the next one.